am a mom of two under two, and for the next 36 hours, I am solo parenting. Matt is gone recording music in Nashville, which leaves me to take care of our two kids by myself. Okay, technically my parents live with us, but I told them specifically for this challenge that they're not allowed to help me. Here are my objectives. Brush my teeth, breastfeed, make breakfast, play outside, clean, get the boys to nap, get dressed, make lunch, leave the house, work out, make dinner, change diapers, put kids to bed, take a shower, and do it all over again until I pick my husband up from the airport at 5 p.m. the next day. <sighs> Good morning, everyone. I think they're both starting to wake up, so I'm gonna quickly brush my teeth because this might be the only chance I get the entire day to brush my teeth. Okay, that is probably gonna be it for our morning routine for today. Get the diaper change station ready and the feeding station ready. He's not gonna like that. I'm setting him down. I have to go get the second one. Good morning, buddy. Did you hear a baby brother? He's sad. Let's go help him. Come here. Oh, 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 I got you. Oh, how did you get so big? Got the baby calmed down because he's currently eating. Griffin is playing. He definitely needs a diaper change, but that'll have to wait because right now, I'm a little tied down. Uh, oh. oh. Ah, I got you. Let's take off your jabbies. Let's sing a song while we do it. The <laughs> wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round. Okay, I got Griffin's breakfast ready. We got waffles, eggs, and then this is strawberries and blueberries. You ready, buddy? There you go. Say thank you. <coughs> oh, bless you. Okay, new crisis. I got the baby to fall asleep. I was saying is I got the baby to sleep. I can't convince the toddler to come inside so I can lay him down. And the reason I need to lay him down is because I really have to go to the bathroom. Griffin, let's go inside. I might have to turn to bribery if it gets bad enough. He's just looking at me like, oh, mom, you think you can tell me what to do? You want to go inside? No, I don't feel so bad. No one tells you about this. This is averted. I swear. I'm starting to think moms should wear diapers too because there's just no opportunity to go to the bathroom. Where did my toddler go? Dead, dead, dead. He got into the pantry. Do I feel like a superhero for getting our seven week old down for a nap? That's not a contact nap. Yes. Do I think that would probably be the only nap of the day that he takes not as a contact nap? Probably, but we're celebrating the wins today. I absolutely love contact naps and I think they're the sweetest thing in the world, but... Griffin? No, 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 no. I literally hear him crying right now. Okay, that lasted all five minutes. That's his mommy's drink. Babies can't have this. Sorry. So now that the boys are both asleep, I'm gonna get to get dressed. This is amazing. This is a luxury. That's what I'm gonna wear today. I actually just recently got a shipment from, you guys guessed it, my favorite. Thread up. I'm so excited about this. I'm gonna dig right in. Oh, these are so cute. I got these jeans. Wait. In case you don't know what Thread Up is, it's an online thrift and consignment shop that has all your favorite brands like Zara, Free People, Abercrombie, all the big brands, but at a fraction of the cost. Like I'm talking like up to 90% off the estimated retail price. And you're also helping the environment. You wear things, you get rid of it, you toss it, it can end up in a landfill, but you can give clothes a new life when you thread up. And they're super cute too. I got a lot of pants because obviously that's what changes the most postpartum. Oh, these are so cute. I've been really into the wide leg pants this season. I feel like they're coming in big time. And these are from Zara. Oh my gosh, look how cute. These are gonna be perfect for the fall. These little Madewell leather ankle booties with the little heel. This is a staple that I could wear for multiple, multiple seasons. You're joking. I'm obsessed. High waisted. You got this really cute, huge cup on the bottom. Love that. This Abercrombie bodysuit. I really hit the jackpot this time. This is awesome. This is from Paxum, this little sweater tank. So cute. 
too. Finally, I also got this Zara skirt that I feel like I'm gonna love for fall. I don't have any long skirts, but I feel like it's gonna be the move for the fall season because it's like a dress, which I love wearing dresses, but it's more nursing friendly because you just have a top to lift up rather than the whole dress like flashing everybody. So. This is gonna be really nice. I actually think I'm gonna wear this today because it just seems comfortable and easy. Let me put this on. Okay, I'm running out of time because I can literally hear the baby crying again, but here is the full fit. The skirt, love it for fall, and I just paired it with this basic white cardigan. It'll be super easy to nurse with. Feels very much in my mommy era. <laughs> and ThreadUp actually has a new feature where people can share their favorites and people can shop them directly. So if you like anything you saw today, I'll put the link in the description. You can visit ThreadUp and they actually gave me a code right here where you can get an extra 40% off your first order plus free shipping. So definitely shop thread up now. I just am thankful I got dressed today. I think I'm killing it. You guys, I want to speak too soon. Both boys are napping right now, but I literally cleaned the whole kitchen. Look at this. The kitchen clean. Dining area clean, clean, clean. Don't look over there. You might be wondering, why are you solo parenting? Like, aren't you married? Yes, I am married and the father is very involved, but right now he's actually just taken literally 36 hours to go record some music. Ever since the beginning of our relationship seven years ago, he would write me songs and sing to me. And he's so talented. That's the other thing. Like, I'm just so proud of him because this is not an easy thing to do and he's freaking doing it. All that to say, I'm really proud of him for putting himself out there and for sharing his talents because because I love his voice and I just wanna be his groupie for the rest of my life. Final look. Okay, Kitty, Big brother is up. Now it's time for some lunch for him. We got cottage cheese, which I already know that's gonna make a huge mess. These are the berries he didn't eat from breakfast, which is not like him. So I'm trying them again. Some sweet potatoes and some peas. Here you go. <gasps> yummy, yummy, say thank you. Thank you. Okay, now he has been asleep in here for about like an hour now. So I'm wondering if I could transfer him into his bassinet. <laughs> it feels risky, doesn't it, buddy? Let's see what we can do. I am shocked and amazed and breathtaking by the fact that Augie has been in a bassinet for almost 20 minutes. I just feel so domestic and on top of it right now. This is crazy. I'm getting a little too confident though. Like right now, literally, Griffin is working on his letters. Look at him. He is incredibly scholarly. I don't know, I might be getting a little overly confident, but I might be braving my first outing with two under two. Could be incredibly dumb. In fact, I probably am very dumb, but I'm also brave. You can't say I'm not brave. O for owl. The owl says, ooh, ooh, ooh. Owl says, ooh. Oh, you're right. The doggy says, woo, woo, woo. Oh, there's so much. Woo, woo, woo. And the tree says, okay. <laughs> oh no, it's time for the outing and I am very scared. I'm terrified, actually. I don't know how this is gonna go because little buddy does not like the car. We gotta get out the door kinda quick. No blowout. Okay, that's good. Okay, we made it in the car. I got both boys back there. <sighs> Getting into the car was a bit dramatic because Augie hates his car seat. But as soon as the car started moving, we were in a better place. He doesn't love the car, so I am expecting some screams, but safety first. It is scary because I've never taken our seven week old to the childcare at the gym. I just always take our toddler. Worst case scenario is they call me back in to get him and we go home. Or hopefully he'll just sleep the whole time, but he's not really the type of baby to do that. I am scared. He just pooped during the workout. So I had to step out to do a diaper change. But they said he's doing good otherwise, so that's awesome. Okay, back in to finish the workout. Okay, we did it. That was a sweaty workout. Good job, boys. That was definitely a confidence booster. So now it's time to head home, and then it's time for the most dreaded part of the day. I've honestly been scared for this part of the day the whole time, and that is bedtime. Okay, so I made it home. I do have a confession to make. My mom and my grandma are here, but I promise you they weren't here literally all day. I did it all myself, and I am warning them. You guys can't help me tonight. 
Somehow Griffin turned on Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. No rules. There's screen time when dad is gone. So we make the rules when dad is out. And we say we love Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Right, Griffin? Woohoo! We love it. Okay, well, let's make dinner now. Come here. It's time for dinner. Wow! Okay. Okay, buddy. You ready to eat? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yummy. Okay, everybody, dinner went great. The latest development is that there is some poop on the rug. Don't, don't get close to it. It's yucky. Yeah, it turns out changing a diaper with the baby on you is not the most easy. And <laughs> 2319. Ew. Yucky. Okay, it's time for jammies. Come here, jammies. No, 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 no. Okay, Griffin, look. The wheels on the bus go round and round. Have it. It's not working. Thank you. No! It's Griffin's least favorite part of the night, and that is teeth brushing time. Here we go. Good job! Oh, he's doing it himself. He's really getting in there. Can't have you getting gingivitis. <laughs> Yay, good job. Good job. You ready to go to bed now? Time for bed. I'm actually so concerned. <laughs> My son literally fell asleep sitting up. I've never seen him do this before, but he is zonked. Like, what's gonna happen? Is he just gonna tip over eventually? I hope he doesn't hit his head. <laughs> this is my trophy for today. Victory. Honestly, I don't understand why people wanna drink alcohol. We couldn't just have this. Okay, last feed of the day, and then we are off to sleep. Such a full day. I'm exhausted, but I'm so happy. What a privilege it is to be a mom to these sweet boys. I love them so much, it can literally make me cry. Good morning. The boys both slept through the night. Good job. So now Augie's eating breakfast. Griffin is playing in the playroom. Literally sitting over there reading books. <laughs> what a precious boy. You need dad to come home. You really need dad to come home. Nothing a little watered down apple juice and some popcorn can't fix, right, buddy? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna miss when snacks and juice don't fix all your problems. Okay, so Matt just landed and now I have to pack up the boys and go pick up. Hello! It's really easier said than done getting all three of us out the door. If I was solo parenting always, I would probably just stay home always. We'd never leave the house. But we can do this. I feel like we should make him a sign or something to welcome him back. <laughs> so let's say, is that funny? We, thanks for helping. So happy. We smile when we're happy, right Griffin? You're back. Dad, dad. And then here's our heart. Oh. Excuse me. Hello. It's time to get in. Yeah, you wanna go get Dada? We miss Dada so much. Really still not loving the car. Guys, Dada's gonna be here. Where is he? Oh, Augie, don't cry now. Oh no. I see him. The kids are so happy. They're so happy. This is just the best. I told Augie that you were coming and he started screaming. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Am I home in time for dinner? <laughs> yep, you made it for dinner. Thanks again to ThreadUp for sponsoring this video. And don't forget, you can shop my favorites with my link below and use code Abby40 for an extra 40% off your first order.